Today, our oil highlight is going to be Arbor Vitae, and that is the way you pronounce it. Some people pronounce it a different way. I have heard from the company directly that it is Arbor Vitae. So if you're pronouncing it some way different, now you know. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this cool oil. I think a lot of people don't know how to use it. Number one, they may have smelt it and thought, um, I don't like it, which is what I thought when I first started using it. And I now love it. So if, once you learn how to use it, I think you might change your mind. And those of you who do love it, you know what I'm talking about, right? So this is an oil that is five milliliters, okay? You can see it's a smaller bottle, and it is $22. So let's talk about how you use Arbor Vitae oil. Number one, this is a great replacement for our On Guard oil. I don't know if anything can ever replace On Guard, but it can use, be used similar to the way that we use On Guard. It's really great at keeping you healthy. So during the seasons when you have a lot of environmental or seasonal threats that are happening at the time, Put this on your feet, diffuse it in the air, and it'll keep your family nice and healthy, okay? Excellent for that. It's also great for repelling insects. So if you're going out and about somewhere, I would recommend that you put this on your ankles and on your wrists, it'll keep those bugs away. Cool, huh? And here's another thing you can do. Add this to a spray bottle, okay? So this is water in it, and all you do is you're just going to drop a few drops of the Arbor Vitae in it, and then put it on your hands, and guess what? Really good hand sanitizer. It's got a good little musky smell to it. So there you go. Nice little hand sanitizer. Great for camping. Okay, so how else can you use it? Diffuse it. I love this in my diffuser. I didn't used to, but I do now. It has a very grounding smell, very musky, very outdoorsy smell. It smells like wood to me. <sighs> can you tell how much I love it? I just love to just breathe it in and smell this stuff. So diffuse it. Okay, here's another great thing. This combined with lemon, they make a really, really good wood polish. So I would use four drops to two drops of lemon, okay? If you're going to equally make something, that's how you would do it. And just spray that on the wood surface, makes it nice and shiny and keeps your wood healthy. Awesome. All right, how many of you want a cologne, a good, nice, musky cologne? So take Arbor Vitae, add it with frankincense and also cedarwood. Those three together make a great cologne for men. Very musky, very balancing and grounding. No fruity smells here, right? Okay, and here's the last one. This is the way that I use this. I use Arbor Vitae for meditation, and here's how you should use it. First of all, I just take it and put it right here on your third eye, okay? And then over your heart, and then on your head. Those are the different chakras that are really important for meditating. This is a very calming oil, very balancing, brings peace. Great one to use anytime you're meditating, right? So that's how to use Arbor Vitae oil. Hopefully you learned something today about it and you're going to want to go get it.